Jeez, Pixel, the same rush in two videos in a row. <laughs> what are you thinking? Hello, welcome back. And before you think you're watching the same video as the last one, this is MRE Menu 14 Creamy Spinach Fettuccine? Fettuccine. Fettuccine. Uh, part 2. In the last video, we checked out a 2016 version of this menu, and in this video, we'll be checking out the 2019 version of this menu. Uh, packed by the Warner Company in Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, Again, don't tell the government I've got it. I'm just kidding. Uh, there's nothing on the back. This has been opened. I opened this on Twitch to have a look at it a while ago. So, oh, the accessory bag has just completely collapsed. All right, so since the accessory pack is open, we're just gonna lay things out. Creamy spin fetch. Chocolate protein drink powder. Ooh, a cran raspberry first strike bar. Nutritional fat cardboard sleeve, or FRH. Pinot bitter spoon. Some crackers, and uh, this is how we know it's a 2019 menu, or 2019 version, is because it's the 259th day of 2019. We have some honey mustard and onion pretzel nuggets. We have our hot beverage bag here. So we have some TP here, made in San Francisco by Lighthouse for the blind and visually impaired. That's pretty cool. Matches, these matches are pretty different. Uh, these ones have a glossy finish. The ones in the last one they were matte finish, more just like cardboard, and the tips are different. The last ones were red, these ones are white. Bill's Brew Fried Coffee. <laughs> no. Bill's Brew Freeze Dried Coffee, not fried. Crushed Red Pepper, or sugar. Our Wet Nap. Creamer Non Dairy Dry. This is a different packaging. Iodized Salt, Chiclet Scum, which I believe is cinnamon flavor. This is quite different from the last MRE, the last one, the uh, 2016 uh, Creamy Spinach Fettuccine. There is obviously a fair few dis differences in the accessory pack here. It's uh, too far down. Uh, obviously the matches, the coffee, the creamer are all different. The TP is different. Uh, we have red pepper instead of Tabasco. We have a cran raspberry first strike bar instead of an apple cinnamon. One thing I'd just like to point out on the peanut butter that I've just noticed is that it says, thank you for your service. Let's just get our tray and just start opening things up. Okay, so we've got our tray and I've not put everything out on it yet because what I want to do is I just want to kind of go along and just get things prepared before they go on the tray. So first things first, we're going to do our FRH with the creamy spinach fettuccine. So here's our FRH, this is a 2019 one. There you go, there's the date code on that. And basically, you just tear it. Put your ration or your main or whatever in. Of course, you can put like tortillas and things in there if you get them. There we go. And then we get some water or a bottle of water. Whoops. Oh, we may have got the cardboard wet a little bit. And then we fold this over. Massage the element so it gets some water. And that is taking off almost straight away. Oh yeah. I don't know if you can hear that. That's taken off a lot quicker than the last one did. We put this up against a rock or something. All right, so now the FRH is off doing its thing. I want to check the coffee out. This is my lovely Xbox mug. It's a very different, I don't know. It's very different. I would have preferred, you know, coffee instant type three or type two or type one, either of those. But let's get this out and have a look at it. Let's give it a nice little sniff. It looks exactly the same. It has a rich kind of almost caramel smell. Mm. And there you go. That looks perfect. Well, let's get some hot water into that. It's Dusty. Say hi, Dusty. All right, so we've got our hot water here. So we're just going to pour that in. 
And we'll just give that a stir. Just gonna give it a sniff. Yeah, it smells, I'll be honest, it has a weak smell. It doesn't smell quite as good as the, uh, the last one. And next, let's check out our chocolate protein drink powder. Now in the last video, I was quite worried about this because it was obviously at that point five years old. This one is uh, about two years old at this point, so it should still be okay. But basically what we do is we fill it up to the line and then give it a shake. And give it a sniff. Oh, it doesn't smell quite as good as last time. Yeah, it smells like they've changed the recipe. It's not quite got that deep, rich, chocolatey smell. All right, so I've just filled that with water from the tap. And now what we do is we grab it and shake vigorously until it's mixed. All right, so let's have a look at that. You can see the bubbles there. Oh, it smells not that great, to be honest. Mm. It looks good. Wow. Yeah, it doesn't have that quite, that, 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 that rich kind of chocolatey smell like the last one did. All right, and next, obviously, we have to do the icons of the MRE, the crackers. Let's check these bad boys out. That was a good little hiss. These look great. I do love these. They're really nice crackers. They don't smell quite as maybe stale as the last ones. And next, check out our peanut butter. This is gonna be almost exactly the same as the last peanut butter. I don't think they've changed the recipe that much in the last, well, in the three years between the two releases. Let's get some of this out onto our cracker. All right, look at that. That is some peanut butter. It smells just like peanut butter. I don't know what I was expecting. Next, let's get our first strike bar out. Ooh, this one's bright red. <laughs> look at the color of this. Wow, that looks pretty dang good. It doesn't smell good. And by that, I mean, it smells like it's edible. It just, I don't like how it smells. It smells like dried fruit, dried cranberries, obviously. But it, it, it looks fantastic. Look at that deep red color. That's beautiful. Sticky, oily. And then the last thing of the food until the fettuccine is done, the honey, mustard, and onion pretzel nuggets. Oh, wow. Look at those. Those are great. Those look very different from the uh, pretzel sticks we got. Those look good. Ooh. They don't smell quite like mustard. They smell more like, uh, maybe like a sweet kind of salt, maybe. Maybe like a kick of mustard in there. But those are pretty good. All right, so the FRH is still off doing its thing. We've still got a while, so we're gonna check out the coffee. And the cool thing about this mug here is that it is heat reactive. Achievement unlocked. Review an MRE. All right, let's give this a taste. It's a very bitter coffee, very... It, it's it, almost like it's a dark roast, but it's, it's very, very bitter. And uh, I think what it needs is some sugar and that creamer. So let's check out the creamer. Oh, the creamer is different now. Look at that. We're just gonna throw the creamer in. I know last time I wasn't too hyped about using the creamer, but that was because it was five years old. This one's only two years old. So there's less chance of it being off. Throw all that sugar in there. And this should give us a nice, pleasant, 
sweet, milky morning coffee. That's much better. It's not rich. It's not deep. It does just taste like a more of a, just a, an instant coffee as compared with like coffee instant, well, the last coffee where that was nice. It was deep, it was rich, it was bold. It was like a, it was like a nice, not instant cup of coffee, but this is definitely more just like cheap instant coffee you get from like Tesco or Walmart. It's good, but it's not quite as good as the coffee instants. And now for the thing that I was worried about in the last MRE, the chocolate protein drink powder. In the three years between the last video, the last video's MRE and this MRE, from 2016 to 2019, they've changed the recipe of this. It doesn't taste as chocolatey. It doesn't, it doesn't taste like a pudding. It tastes more like just thick chocolate milk, but not like really nice chocolate milk that you get, like a, an expensive brand. It just tastes like Aldi's own brand chocolate milk, if you know what I mean. Like the cheap stuff that costs like 60 pence a bottle. It doesn't have that weird dusty aftertaste. It's not as as chocolatey as the last one. All right, so the the spinach fettuccine is out of the FRH. It is a lot hotter than the last one, so that FRH probably worked better because it's younger. So let me just knead this red hot pouch of food. Let's get this open. And look at that. It looks identical to the last one. It smells much better than the last one, actually. It smells more like spinach, really. It, it's probably the exact same recipe, but again, this one is younger. So I'd hope that it definitely tastes better. So let's just get this on out. All right, and I literally cannot help myself, so I'm just going to dig right into this. Wow, that is delicious. Wow. Before I get any further, I'm going to try a bit of mushroom. While it does taste identical to the last one in terms of flavor profile, there's still the same amount of spinach. It's warmer, which helps. The pasta is the exact same. The mushrooms, they're a little bit tougher which is nice. It gives it that little bit of differentiation between the texture of the pasta, the sauce and the mushroom. You can definitely tell what's what and it gives it that nice bite to it. Let me just throw some salt in here. Nice, there's a big chunk of mushroom there. You see that? Nice. Let's try it with some salt. What that needed was salt. Oh man, that's so much better. The salt just brings out the flavor. Wow. The pasta's really well cooked, but I can't go much further without putting in the crushed red pepper. This will hopefully give it a nice bit of heat. So let's give that a nice little taste now with the red pepper flake in it. The crushed red pepper adds that nice spiciness to it. Let's try out this peanut butter. Again, I'm just gonna try a little bit. Peanut butter tastes good. It tastes sweeter than the last one. It tastes not like it's been sat in a cupboard for a while. It's just good quality peanut butter. The cracker, it's a lot softer than the last ones. It's not quite as crunchy. It more just kind of crumbles, but it is really good. It works well with the peanut butter. What can you really say about peanut butter? It's peanut butter, but it tastes kind of more natural. It's sweet, it's good, it's smooth. Dusty's meowing. It's just really good peanut butter. I wanna try this first strike bar. This looks beautiful, it's shiny. Almost before you put that in your mouth, you get the cranberry filling your mouth. And then when you bite down on it, it starts mixing with your saliva. It just fills you with this lovely cranberry 
goodness. Obviously, so you've got the crunch of the little rice bits in there. It's soft, it's chewy, it's really sticky. And then you get this kind of subtle hint, almost like an aftertaste, but not quite of raspberry. Kind of brings it all together, gives it all just a nice rounded fruit flavor. That is really, really good. And I just, I just gotta. The pretzel nuggets almost immediately taste of mustard, but a very mild mustard. The way I like to describe, no. You get that honey mixed in with there very, very quickly. And it's almost like a burst of flavor. And it kind of gives way to just that honey aftertones. Not really much onion, maybe towards the end. And obviously they're very, very crunchy. But those are pretty dang good. And you know what? I'd probably get a little bit of bullied if I didn't try these two together. The honey mustard and onion pretzel nuggets and the creamy spinach fettuccine. No, no. These two don't mix, at least in this context. With the spiciness and the saltiness of the the uh, pasta, it just, it, it, it's a very confused flavor between the two of these. I don't think you should mix these at all, but we tried it. And now, obviously, you can't have a cracker and at least not crunch some of that up into your dish. Let's get more in there. All right, look at that. Now we've got some cracker in there. We've still got that big, massive bit of mushroom that I'm gonna chop up. Let's try that with some cracker through it. The cracker almost absorbs the heat. So that is pretty much everything I could say about the main dish. So what's left is to try the gum, try the coffee. All right, so just to finish off, let's try this. There's cinnamon gum, a nice soft chew, really light cinnamon flavor, really cleanses the palate of the spice, nice and sugary, nice and sweet. That's just good cinnamon gum. It's soft, it's sweet, it's got a lovely cinnamon flavor. An artificial flavor, to be sure, but a good one. So yeah, this is a, this is a pretty good ration. You know what, just for the heck of it, I'm gonna check these matches out. These are different ones I've seen, so let's give these a shot. Good little burn. All right, so final thoughts on this MRE. This is a much more well thought out MRE menu than the 2016 version. I do much prefer the Cran Raspberry First Strike Bar. This thing is delicious. I absolutely love it. It's sweet, it's free, it's light almost, while also being very heavy because it is a First Strike Bar. It is delicious. These are a very good snack on their own. This doesn't have a weird aftertaste like the other one did, so I assume it's probably because the old one was slightly more old, it's been sitting for longer. It doesn't quite taste as good, but this tastes much, much better. With that salt and the red pepper mixed through, it gives it a nice spicy saltiness. That just, it, it, it obviously, it wakes you up. The spice wakes you up, makes you more alert. Delicious. Um, so really all that is left to be said is thank you so much for watching. Thank you for coming along on this two-part series comparing a 2016 and a 2019 MRE Menu 14 Creamy Spinach Fettuccine Fettuccine. I've been Pixel. You've been watching some random eater ration on the internet. And I will catch you in the next one. Nice.